Prenanto Yoga Flow to Feel Good is day 13 of our Posture Paradise Advent Calendar. Hi Angel, I'm CC, your yoga teacher and the creator behind the Posture Paradise Studio, your one-stop online space to correct your rounded shoulders, maybe it's a forward neck posture or maybe you have low doses. It could be flat feet which are causing no knees or maybe you want to strengthen your back and introduce flexibility to the spine. Then go click on the link in the description and become an angel member at the posture paradise studio i cannot wait to add your success story to the other 500 stories from all the angels who have experienced the amazing transformation see you soon all right we are going to start standing at the top of our mats feel free to separate your feet hip distance apart by the way congratulations on your upcoming bundle of joy and if you're not there yet, you will still reap the benefits of this yoga flow, okay? All right. As you breathe in, you're going to lift your feet. And as you exhale, you're going to fully ground all three corners of your feet, two at the top and one at the bottom, then release the toes into the mat. Option to leave the feet open, but if you want, you can heel toe them together. Good job. From here, you're going to slightly tuck the tailbone in, interlace the fingers, flip the palms to face the ground. With your tailbone slightly tucked in, navel towards the spine, you're going to lift those arms all the way up, skyward. Good job. Amazing. Now what you're going to do is suck the kneecaps in, tailbone is still tucked in, navel towards the spine, lift the heels up, grow tall, and as you exhale, you're going to lower the heels. Breathe in and lift up. Breathe out and lower. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lowers. Inhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Breathe in and lift. Breathe out and lower. Inhale. Exhale. This is going to help strengthen your abdominal muscles, okay? Breathe in. And as you exhale, release the arms, feet all the way down, and find a forward fold. Maybe cycling through one leg at a time, swaying your hips from side to side, just enjoying the moment. And now from your forward fold, you're going to come onto all four, releasing the knees into the mat. Knees are hip distance apart, palms are shoulder distance apart. Option to untuck your toes if that feels good. As you breathe in, you're going to lightly arch the back, looking skyward. And as you exhale, you're going to round, chin to chest, keep the abdomen relaxed. Inhale, arches, look up. Exhale, round, chin to chest. As you breathe in, you're going to arch, look skyward. And as you breathe out, you're going to round, chin to chest. Breathe in, look up, breathe out, round. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. You're doing amazing. This is going to be good for relieving any back pain you might be dealing with. Exhale. Final round. Inhale. Look up. And as you exhale, return to neutral. Reach for your cushion if you have one. Because sitting on a cushion, just this extra height makes it more comfortable. All right. From here, you're going to bring the soles of your feet together to touch. Maybe rest your hands on your feet or maybe on your knees, wherever you're able to reach. And we're going to flip up and down. Whew. Did you hear that? Yes, we want to release the hip tension. So just move them up and down, taking your time. There's no need to rush. This is our moment, our sweet escape from time. Excuse me. Very good, Angel. How does it feel in your hips? 
If you feel overwhelmed, I just want to remind you that it's okay. It tends to happen when we, when we release hip tension and that's because our hips are our emotional storages. So when you're oppressing your emotions, this is where everything is stored. So when you open them out, then it all comes back. It might be overwhelming. I want you to focus on your breath and separate yourself from the emotion. I want you to be the observer because emotions come and go. Think of them as passing clouds and breathe, abdominal breathing. Eventually, you get a hold of yourself. You got this, okay? Awesome. All right. And now from here, you can stay in uh, with feet together in Baddha Konasana. Maybe come to Sukhasana. If you want, you can lengthen the legs out wide. We are going to do pulling the rope. <coughs> Sorry. Pulling the rope is one of my favorite asanas. It's going, to give, it's going to strengthen your chest, give your gullies a lift, and also release shoulder tension. Thumbs to palms, close them in. Rest them on your knees, lengthen the spine. As you breathe in, you're going to squeeze the right arm. Imagine you're lifting up an imaginary rock, pulling it all the way up. Pull onto that rope that's attached to the rock and back without arching the spine. See if you can move the arm further behind your ears. If it's not possible, that's okay. Go to your body's extent. Now imagine the rock is above and you're pulling the rope down, taking your time. This rock is heavy and you're giving it all you got, pulling it all the way down. Amazing. And now we do on the left arm, pull that rock up. Yes. Keep pulling it, angel. You got this. You're almost there and send it back and now we pull the rock from above and down keep going Whoo! you're doing it angel it's not easy but here you are wow and let's go to the right pull the rock lift it lift it up and back as far as you can yes keep going and back and now we pull the rope down pull the rope pull it yes mm -hmm. and now pull it up imagine santa is stuck in a ditch and you come to help him because you're such a good samaritan you pull that rope up yes and now we pull it down pull the rope you got this angel, keep pulling, taking your time, engaging your muscles and down. This time we're going to try and pull with both arms, lift, pull, yes, keep going, you got this, keep pulling and pulling and pulling. The entire body is still, only the arms are doing the movement without arching the spine and we pull it all the way down keep pulling you're almost there angel you got this Ooh. and release relax well done i'm so proud of you you can stay seated on your pillow or if you want to go all the way down like me feel free to do that Open your knees slightly wider than your hips. You're going to interlace your fingers and now bringing your interlaced fingers to the outside of the right foot, draw a circle behind the feet and then pull all the way back as far as you can without intensifying the abdomen. And then we go forward. Yes, I want you to keep the abdomen relaxed the entire time, okay? If there is engage, engagement, just a little bit, okay? Be mindful of your current situation. Wow. Let's do one more. You can do it. And let's reverse. If I'm moving too fast, remember you can always pause me. Let's 
keep it going and last one Ooh. you did it angel shake out your arms a bit yes and now you're going to come to laying on the side reach for your pillow first you're going to lengthen the right leg bend the left knee and put it on your pillow then you're going to release the left arm onto the mat bring the right fingers on top of the left and rest your cheek onto your right palm and breathe here maybe then close your eyes if that feels good hmm. and just let yourself ease into rest and digest okay this is an amazing alternative for twisting if you're unable to if your belly if you feel like it would be too much on your belly or if you're unable to go get on your back then you can always opt for matsya kridasana okay and now same thing we do on one side we do on the other we lengthen the left leg move our pillow to the other side bend the right release the right knee onto the pillow this time release the right arm bring the left palm on top of it and rest your left cheek onto the left palm and breathe here if you're able to see if you can connect the right knee to the right elbow and feel free to stay in this asana for as long as it's comfortable with that said thank you so much for sharing your beautiful practice with me if you would like to practice with me some more go click on the link in the profile description and become an angel member at the posture paradise online studio see you there